kids don't try this at home? Yes, kids try this. We are trying this at home. Buzz. In today's video, I teach a pair of 10-year-old boys how to install packages. We'll check back in all year to track the progress of these young beekeepers and their bees. All right, so this can, this is a feeder can. Hello. There's going to be a test. Okay. Yep. There's not. Okay. That, that, um, that has feed in it. So I like to use a pair of vice grips so that so the ones I get it I got it all right so I don't know how many bees are going to be on it and fly so we'll find out because it's kind of warm today but we'll take it out real slowly you can tell there's a bunch of them clustered on it okay so a few of them came out that's fine and there's a few on the bottom, so we'll just kind of, you can't really see, I'm flicking them off with my finger. All right, so these guys are off. And set it aside. All right, so now, remember I said the queen was hanging? Yeah. She's right there. So, excuse me, girls. Hi. We'll scoot her in. And... up a little bit, maybe where I can grab it. Yeah, it's okay. All right, guys. Now watch, there'll be a bunch of them hanging on to her. And what they're doing, and I'm gonna get this covered back up because it's warm. So you always, there's, this tells you the queen bee is very popular. If they were ignoring her, you'd have problems. So I'll brush those off. Gently. Uh, yeah, it's pretty warm. This is like the warmest I've ever installed bees. And I just want these guys to get out of the way so that I can make sure the queen is okay. And I don't want to shake the queen. I could just give this cage a big shake. My buddy Nathan does that. But, um, all right. So, can you see her crawling around in there? Yeah. She looks good, right? Now, this has candy in it. This is stuff called queen candy. The bees will chew through it and release her. But what I need right now is this. And we don't want to hurt the queen here, so we wait until she's not here, because it's really bad form to volunteer to help and then um, skewer the queen. <laughs> See how we're hanging her like that? Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're doing is, uh, would you just sort of very gently lift this and scoot it well actually i'll do it maybe i'll do it here then you guys can see and all right so we're going to take her and we're going to put her right down in between like this and then squeeze these together like that and this is just insurance to make sure that she doesn't drop okay we put her close to the middle but not quite in the middle all right so now it's the fun part all right, I'm gonna want to bend this a little more. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's a, when the wax is cold, it's hard to push it into the wax. Okay, so they'll feed her right through there. Okay, here's the fun part. A few of them will fly, not many. How many is a few? Oh, oh and grab that box and put it right on top. Make it fit the same way this one does. Yep, go ahead. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Perfect. All right, so now, you know what's going to happen now. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Holy cow. Oh, one's on me. That's okay. Don't panic. Multiple are on me. <laughs> and that box works like a funnel, so that a few of them, you can see a few of them are on the outside. Sometimes you gotta kind of get them down on one. You end. have so many more on you than I do. Oh, one funny.
I would say that was almost all. So we'll I set this aside. I would say that aside. was more than a few who flew. And we have these other two frames. Yeah, the corner right there. Oh, okay. Right there. Oh, I'm just going to Hey. Oh, oh mine's right, mine's right there, too. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a more than a few. We'll make some room. Tons of other uh, trying to crawl. And I'll drop this last one in here. Okay. Now the last That's thing we so do brilliant. is you always make sure the ears of the frames touch each other. You know what the ear is? The part that sticks out on both sides of it, just like your ears. Those have to touch all the way I across. Want to add one. I have two on my right arm. Now, and now, we smoke them down a little bit. Cool. Not much. Cover it. But Ian can help too. Yeah. I feel like a beekeeper now. Yeah. I would move around more, but I really don't want to get stuck. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Nothing to it, right? So these guys will sit there and they'll fan. They'll fan their wings and send up the smell of the hive. And the rest of these guys that are flying around, they'll fly in there with them. Middle there. Oh wow, there's like four on your head. They're evil. Come pull out two out of the middle. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten frames should be in each bee box. Can you pull out two out of the middle? And set, gently set them right here. Set them right there. Okay. What are you doing over here? Prop it up. It's not yours. Is it possible that one of these bees would ever go into one of the other colonies? Yep, sometimes it happens. And sometimes it's okay, and sometimes it's an act of war. You know, fight. You won't let them in. <laughs> That's so cool that they can identify which colony they're from. They smell it. Yeah. Smell. That's cool. This one. And this. All right. So what's this? This pink thing? This pink tab? Oh, that's, that's uh, where the queen, queen bee is. The queen cage. Exactly right. So tell me what I'm going to do now. You're going to pull out the feeder. Yeah, you're going to pull out the feeder. And, and then you're going to slide the glass over the top. Great. And then you're going to take out the laser on the feeder. Well, there weren't that many. Does the feeder feel heavy? Uh, it's got, it's got some feed in it, but. Okay. Not much. What's next? Um, now we're gonna pull the queen cage. Queen cage. Exactly right. Get out of the way, girls. There it goes. Okay. Oh, there are a lot of bees She's on that popular. Side. Okay, I'm laying her down softly while I try to get that covered up a little bit. Gently brush some of those bees off. Go ahead. Gently. Now, you don't want to squish them or roll them. Precious cargo. Think about them as flick them. That kind of, that way you don't, because you don't want to roll them. You don't want them to roll underneath your finger because they don't like that at all. Bees really like the queen. Yes, they do. That's a good sign. All right. Remember what we do next? Uh, yeah. yeah. Insert her in between the Close. Two. You first take out that thing. Yeah, oh, why do you think the cap is on there? So they, the bees don't eat it. So the bees don't eat it. That's exactly right. Okay. Paperclip man. What is that? Make sure. Do we make sure the queen is in the bottom or do we want to try to skewer her? Oh, uh, we want her on the bottom. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Let me drop her down there. And she goes towards the middle, but not directly in the middle. And the reason for that is 
that we do not, if the syrup jar drips, we do not want her to get wet. Okay. And now you know what comes next, right? The dumping. The dumping. Oh, the exciting part. Oops, where's that box? Okay, who's my box man? Put that box on there as soon as I lift this up, okay? Great. You know how many bees are in there? Yeah, That's about right. Four pounds. It's not like I can know exactly how many are in there. I think that I'm pretty sure they weigh them when they put them in there. Yeah. But, one bee, like but you know, not every single bee, yeah, of course. Yeah, one bee doesn't make much of a difference. Unless it's a queen. Then it makes a huge difference. Where's our queen? Oh my gosh. We have so many bees in this. Like off, like uh, 30, 40, 50, 50. So, what do we do now? We. Oh, we don't know. We shake them off the box. We got to get the box out of the way, right? So we just lift up the box. And... That works. Do you remember how many frames are supposed to be in there? Yeah. Oh. Oh well. That leaf just went down in there, and these you just put in very gently. And there's a pile of bees, so just see it kind of sink down in slowly. It's on the pile of bees, and we make room. Push them over. Next one goes in. Now, you guys know how long it takes for the queen to get out? Uh, 10 seconds? No. Probably about a day for him to eat through that. Oh, wow. Maybe I thought two. they would eat through it a lot faster. Remember what happens next? Yeah, smoke them down a little bit. Uh, yeah, they're going down. Going well, a few of them. More are going down. Yeah, I didn't put much in there. Okay. A little bit more smoke. Get out of the way, and then this should have. I'm trying to fly upside down. Wait, now I'm trying to fly upside down. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I'm gonna feel like a bee. Uh, no. I mean, these are kind of short-term kind of solution here, traveling. Oh, and this, this oh, no, it's material is called reflective. Okay, what's the order, guys? All right, we're going to uh, unlock the lid. But no, the can. Yeah, the can. So feed it. Okay. Rip. And some people shake the package, but I have found that you don't have to, and it's better if you don't. What are you hanging up on? I don't know. All right, anybody underneath there? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a few. Okay, just brush them off. Flick, flick them. them. Don't roll them. them. Flick them. Them. Yeah, there you go. Good job. When it's colder, almost oh, none fly. Not as popular as that one. Come on, yeah, what is what it is. Okay. So, if we had a uh, bee brush, we would use that. It's much faster than a finger. But this works. We have to make sure the queen is alive. Sometimes they don't make it. Sometimes they die. You guys see her? Yep. She's crawling, crawling around. She's looks crawling. good. Mm -hmm. Who wants to uh, not skewer the queen? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. So wait till she goes down to the bottom. Get that hook end ready. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. There you go. You're just going to run it when she's at the bottom like she is now. Wait, wait. Okay, go now. Yeah, uh-huh. Good job. Okay, good job. So now, we're going to take this cap off. Why did they take hopefully the we should count the caps. I mean, yeah, 
because we want to have them. Um, I saw two on the other one. Good, okay. Because you don't want to leave that in. And do you always remember why you take the cap off? Yes, yeah, so, so then the bees can eat it. And eat. the cap's there, so they don't eat it. Yeah, they don't want it to eat it before we can even get them into the box. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> You know what comes next, right? Yep, the dump it. Dump those bees. Dump those bees. Dump <laughs> those bees. Oh, we didn't oh. put the box on. Where's that box? Is it back there? Here, right here. Pull it out. Here, boys. There's some bees on it. Shake those bees. Well, just put it down. You ready? Okay. Good, good. This makes a big difference. Oh, you close them. Well, we just still gotten most of them in there, but this gets even I would more. rather get all of them in there. I feel like the bees that are like down at the bottom are like, are you kidding me? Wow, I felt the bee land on my foot. There's a bee land on my foot. Remember what happens next? Oh, yes, yes. Oh yeah, we take this off. There you go, right. So. And then they smoke it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, oh, we don't have to smoke them just yet. Okay. We can get, these leaves fell off. They must have been on the bottom of the, they must have been on the bottom of the bee package. All right, you wanna grab that very gently. Go ahead and put it in. Put it down nice and gently. And we'll make room. Oops. Okay, this one's a little trickier because there's not as much room in there. So we'll put it in there. Okay. Alright. Do the ears go together? Yes. Is there any smoke left in there? Um, I don't know. We'll find out. Yep, that's called a baffle. So. Have finished. Anything to say for the viewing audience at home? Um, no. Okay. Kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> yes, kids, try. This we home. are trying this at home. <laughs>